The rabbit is an example of an endotherm. Endotherms use internal sources of heat to keep their body at the right temperature. Endotherms can use physiological and behavioural responses to maintain their constant body temperature. Physiological. <laughs> When our friend the rabbit gets too hot, more sweat is secreted from the sweat glands onto his skin. This evaporates using latent heat of vaporisation from the blood's heat, which cools him down. If the body temperature is too low, less sweat is secreted, less evaporation of water, so less loss of latent heat. If the core body temperature gets too high, hairs lie flat on the surface of the skin, providing little insulation and so more heat can be lost by con convection and radiation. When the rabbit's body temperature becomes too low, his hairs are raised to trap a layer of insulating air. This reduces the heat loss from the skin. <laughs> Vasodilation is when the arterioles leading to the capillaries in the skin um, dilate or get wider allowing more blood flow to go to the capillaries near the skin's surface. This means that more heat can be lost from the skin and is, is why you might look red when you exercise. Here our rabbit is shivering. This is a spontaneous contraction as it tries to generate heat as its muscle cells respire more. Behavioural. As it gets cloudy, the rabbit moves into his burrow to keep warm. If it's really, really cold, he'll roll into a ball. 